guide. This will be a quick update to my previous video, which had some audio issues. So let's get started. So we'll first start the subroutine, I'll call it format, and then we will need to declare a variable. So that would be last row for LR as long. Then we need to set LR equals sheet one dot cells rows dot count comma one dot end excel up dot row and the reason why we're using this is because we want to uh, downfill the conditional formatting up until the end of your data set you don't want to do that for the entire sheet otherwise that can uh, slow down your sheet quite a bit um, this can also be used uh, for your formulas as well when you want to downfill your formulas okay so next we're going to do with sheet one one dot range we're going to do the column that has the, the value that we want to match. That's the column D. Uh, we want to do uh, Japan. So we'll do D2, semicolon D, close off your uh, double brackets, ampersand signed LR, close off your bracket. Um, now we want to do dot format conditions dot delete. So this would delete any previous conditional formatting so that we can start with a brand new conditional formatting. Next, we're going to do a dot format conditions dot add. And we want to do an Excel text string, comma, and we'll type in string, semicolon equals, no, nope, inside quotes. We want to do, uh, let's do Japan. Close off your quotes there. And then we're going to do text operator. Operator semicolon equals, we're going to do XL contains. So that means it contains the string. Next, we're going to do, we're going to add the cell color. So we're going to do dot format conditions again. We're going to do in brackets one for the first rule here, and then dot interior dot color equals RGB. I like to use RGB. You don't have to use RGB code if you don't like. And for the color, you can set any color you like. I like to use um, this color. It gives like a, a pink cell color. Dot one nine nine comma two oh six. Then we're going to add the text color as well. So dot format conditions one inside brackets dot font dot color equals again. You can choose any color you like. One five six comma zero comma six. And then we're going to do end with. All right, so let's run this code and see. There you go. You can see it highlighted Japan. Now, if we change this to, uh, let's do Turkey, and uh, we run this code, and there you go. Now, if you want to highlight the entire row in your data set, we can also do that as well. We'll just copy this code, name it two, and then we're just going to change up a few things. So the sheet with sheet one, range, we want to change this to A2 to D and the last row. And then we're going to change this up here as well. We're going to delete this. Now we're going to do Excel expression, comma, and then we're going to do formula one. And then the formula would be equals the dollar sign D2 equals, and then double quotes here, we're going to do, uh, let's do China and then close off your quotes. All right, so let's run this. All right, see, so the whole row here in your data set is highlighted. Uh, let's try a different one just to be sure. Uh, let's, do, let's do United States. And let's run this code, and there you go. So I'll also include this workbook inside this tutorial in the description down below. And I hope you guys found this video useful. Thank you very much.